In this video, I'm going to talk about business intelligence. SharePoint has various BI capabilities built in, and due to recent licensing changes, customers of the enterprise version of MOSS can also get all the high-level monitoring and analytics capabilities of Performance Point included in the cost of their solution. I'm not going to talk about Performance Point in this demo. There are plenty of resources out there if you want to learn more. Suffice it to say that Performance Point is Microsoft's corporate business intelligence offering, making SharePoint a truly valuable tool for dealing with your figures. The capabilities that come in MOSS are Excel services, data visualization using KPIs, and the ability to create dashboards. Excel services allows users to put Excel spreadsheets on the server so they can be viewed for, through a web browser. Here I have an Excel workbook. This includes some named ranges with conditional formatting, a table, and a pivot table report. I'll choose to publish this workbook to Excel services, which I can do through the menu in Excel. I can choose what the options of what I want to publish. If I want, I could only publish certain parts of the form. As it is, I'll publish everything. It's a simple matter to publish these to SharePoint, and now the selected elements are visible in a read-only format through the browser. This means that people can be sure that the data is accurate, and also means that people can know they're seeing the most recent figures. Displaying important figures through the browser can give you a lot more control over who's seeing them than, for example, if you emailed around a spreadsheet. You can also remove these menus so that only those who know what they're doing can open up the file and make changes. I mentioned KPIs, or Key Performance Indicators. These give a way of indicating at a glance whether a number is good or bad. You set a range which is good, a range which is less good, and a range which is bad, and then the number gets a traffic light icon associated with it. When you have several of these, you can see immediately where the problems lie. Clicking on a KPI can take you to more details. By default, you'll see a view of where the data is brought from. In this case, we see an Excel table, which compares the values of various average sales figures over different periods. But you can alter this link to take you to different places. These KPIs are to do with stock levels in a fictional store. If I click on one of them, I get taken to a form to order new stock. So you can link these KPIs straight to your business processes. These KPIs can be created from either data in SharePoint, cells in Excel, figures in SQL, or from manually entered data. For example, you can create KPIs based on the number of items in a project task list. Or almost anything you can define as numbers with good and bad ranges. So KPIs don't always have to be about sales figures and profit margins. You can create dashboards on SharePoint to give a big picture summary of what's going on, comparing data from different sources. This page has data from Excel and some SharePoint KPIs. You might want to build dashboards that display figures from various departments side by side so you can get a clear comparison. You can arrange the various BI web parts to show you a clear view of whatever is most important to you.